Well, the Treasurer has told the National Press Club that Australia is at a generational fork in the road as the government releases its intergenerational report, making predictions about the country 40 years into the future. Let's bring in our Sky News political reporter, Joel Philp. Joel, this covered a, a broad range of areas. When it comes to climate change, though, the Treasurer has been criticised about what the report looks at in terms of that. Yeah, that's right, Ash. Look, this intergenerational re report speaks about five big shifts that our country will experience over the next four decades. Part of those involve an ageing population as demographics change, a shift towards a digital transformation and the hoped increases in productivity that will come with that, but also a shift away from hydrocarbons and towards renewable energy as the world grapples with the climate change challenge. And we saw climate change protesters out the front of this National Press Club address from the Treasurer today, effectively saying that when it comes to this area of change, the government is not taking the issue seriously enough. The Treasurer tried to sell this transition towards net zero that the world is undertaking is more profitable than painful for Australia. And he also said that this was a pivotal moment in time for our country. We can own the future, but only if we take the big shifts seriously. Because if the 1980s meant the end of certainty, the 2020s must mark the end of complacency. It's clear that Labor will not make the big changes to the economy needed to tackle the big problems that the country faces. Under Labor's future, the rich get richer, everyone else gets poorer and the planet gets hotter. The Treasurer also said when it comes to the opportunities of climate change, he acknowledged that both parties have missed opportunities in this space. An interesting line there, and that's been the focus of the government's line today, you might say. But journalists at this press club address were trying to push the tr Treasurer on a variety of different issues about how the government will respond to the issues that have been raised in this report. One of them is about superannuation. The Treasurer has flagged that that's going to be one of the key focuses of tax reform to the government trying to increase taxation on a high super balance accounts. But he also said today that he hopes people in retirement are not as frugal as they've been in the past and that governments have focused for a long time about helping people accumulate super, whereas they should be giving them more options and incentives. And he said perhaps the next frontier is about working towards how people spend super in their retirement. There is a big problem, a big challenge uh, for us to address, uh, and that is an absence of uh, literacy and options when it comes to retirement products in the uh, drawdown phase, in the retirement phase. And that's because, as you rightly point out, uh, people are more frugal than they need to be. They're more conservative than they probably want to be. Now, this uh, brochure had some quite brief predictions about the state of the federal budget over the next four decades, predicting the year we just went through, 2022-23, was the last surplus at a federal level that we can expect for the next 40 years. The Treasurer acknowledged that these are, of course, only predictions, and he said that we may experience in the future the kind of change and upheaval that we saw at the beginning of this decade, which he uh, labelled the turbulent 20s. Ash? Joe Phil, thank you.